You've seen it before in movies. The beautiful depth of field, the blurry background, the bokeh. How would you like to achieve that, but with your own custom shapes, not just the round orbs that you see floating behind people. You can make it yourself in camera by cutting out custom shapes and then taping it onto the front of your lens. That could take a long time, especially if you have an intricate design. However, you could do it yourself inside DaVinci Resolve. You're going to want to do this inside the color page. All you do is come up to effects and look for lens blur and just drag and drop that on. Boom, you have a lens blur. And we can click on the preview shape, and that is the shape of the aperture that is going to create the bokeh with. To make a custom shape, we can just come down to creative. And there is a heart, and let's see, let's do a star. Turn off the preview. We can see stars all over here. It's really that simple, but let's go a step further. Let's animate it. Come back to the beginning. We'll take the rotation and make a keyframe right there. And then let's come to the end and we'll just rotate it like that. You can really see it here in the lights. So those are the creative shapes that are built inside DaVinci. However, you can put your own image inside this to make your own shaped bokeh. For this example, we have some kids playing basketball. Let's go ahead and throw the lens blur effect on. And this time we'll come down to external input. You're not gonna see anything yet. That's because we have to come up to our media pool. And I'm gonna go over to my images. And for this one, I'm gonna be using the Air Jordan logo. For the best results for this, you're going to want an image that is white with a black background or just a solid colored image on a transparent background, and those would be a PNG, but you can also use the JPEG with the black background images. And all we have to do is take the green dot from our image and put it into this green dot on the lens blur, and everything's blurred. <laughs> so to see everything, we'll just take the scale and scale it down. And let's say probably right around there. And now we can see all the little points of Boca are the Air Jordan logos. And we can adjust that a little bit more. And one thing that I've noticed that helps a lot is if we take our highlights and pull it up, it kind of makes it a little bit cleaner to be able to see the logo itself. So everything is blurred. To make just the background blurry, we're going to be using the depth map. And everything I've shown you up until now, you can do inside the free version of DaVinci. However, using the depth map and going forward, you have to have the studio version or the paid version of DaVinci Resolve. And to get to the depth map, just come back over to our effects, type in depth map, drag and drop that on here before the lens blur, and then go back to our lens blur. Let's make sure that is turned off. I did a controller command D to turn that off. That way it won't affect what we're going to be changing. So whenever the depth map is on, you're gonna notice that the quality is set to better. If you have a slower computer, I suggest going to faster on that. And now let's turn on are just map levels. All these settings that I'm doing is dependent on my particular shot. So each shot that you have will be different when using the depth map. I'm gonna just adjust the gamma all the way up. I'm gonna bring that near limit a lot closer because I'm just trying to isolate the kids since they're the main subject. I wanna get them pretty much as white as possible with the background as black as possible. When I turn on post-processing, you're gonna notice that it is helping the edges a lot more, so it's more detailed. And I'm also going to take the expand and just expand that all the way up. I'm primarily doing this because if you don't expand it, you're gonna have a weird kind of halo effect coming from the lens blur. All right, now to see our image, we're going to go to invert, turn off the preview, we're gonna take the blue dot, which is our alpha channel, and we're going to connect it to the blue dot here for our lens blur. And we'll select the lens blur node and control or command D. Now we have our custom bokeh only on the background as a shallow depth of field with our subjects in the foreground, crisp and clear. And we just made this video with a custom shaped depth of field. 
If you're going to try this effect, I do suggest doing it with a shot that is either a wide shot done on an action camera or a smartphone, something that doesn't already have a shallow depth of field, otherwise it's going to be a lot harder to recreate the shape that you're trying to in the background. If you found value in this, go ahead and leave a like. And if you haven't already, I made a video on how to animate a rack focus using the depth of field tool. So you can check that out and that should be popping up right around here. Until next time, off we Disney.